Good afternoon, my fellow friends and YouTubers. This is Kurt, and welcome back to the Kurt's Place channel here on YouTube. Well, guys, now in this video, I'm going to tell you about my latest project, the Black Stallion Pinball Machine. I actually just finished up in my workshop about a week ago. Now, I've actually moved it into my room, and this is actually the second day I've actually had it in here, and I wanted to make a video to show you exactly what the Black Stallion Pinball Machine is. Now, I also want to mention, by the way, too, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Also, if you like what you see, go and smash the like button. And if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section down below. All right, so let me go ahead and start out by, by showing you the computer and everything that this actually has, and then we'll work our way around into different parts of the machine. And as always, thanks again for watching. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start out with the computer. Now, the actual computer that's actually running the Black, the black Stallion Pinball Machine, this is actually a, uh, it's, it's an AMD 64-based computer, and it's running Windows Vista. Now, uh, it has a pretty good quality graphics card and things in as well. Now, there's going to be another video coming up in about a week. It's going to tell you everything involved, that, that hey, how the computer and everything was put together. That's going to be a video in itself, and that'll be going up in about a week. So check back on the channel in about a week, and you'll get a chance to see the video that explains to you exactly how I built the computer and everything as well. Now, keep in mind, the computer and everything on here, was the, all the computer and everything was built from the ground up by me. So this is all custom things that I built in my shop uh, over the years. Now, the actual machine itself, this actually started out live. This was actually an Attack from Mars pinball machine from Arcade 1-Up that ended up, ended up heavily modifying. Now, keep in mind, when I got this machine, uh, nothing inside was working. I, somebody actually gave me this machine so said I could do whatever I wanted to do with it. So I basically ended up gutting everything out. Other than the sides, I basically ended up gutting all the electronics and everything out and basically starting from the ground up on this machine. So this really is a ground-up project. Now, you're going to notice next to this, you're going to notice that the, uh, the actual train layout that I have, my Skyway train, train layout uses these actual metal frames now that these these shelf brackets so this machine has a lot of those as well uh in the lake structure and everything down below it uses them it also uses them up in the top box and everything as well now when you're watching the video on the top right hand corner there's a link there's a link you can open up if you open up the link on the top right hand corner there's links to other videos you're going to notice that the skeletal pinball machine and there will be a link to the skeletal pinball machine up there and up there and, and under the videos this has a lot of similarities. As a matter of fact, the top back box and everything is almost identical to, to the skeletal pinball machine, but then the rest of the machine is different. So this is almost like a hybrid between the skeletal pinball machine and a regular pinball machine. Very, very unique. So what we'll do, let's go ahead and start up from the top and work our way down. Now, the, what I actually use to power this, I actually have a set, to power the sound and everything, I actually have a set of, of uh, Polk audio speakers on the left and right, and underneath the machine, it's a little hard to see, there's actually a Sony amplifier underneath the machine. This actually puts out about 250 watts of power through these Polk audio speakers. Very, very effective. Now, the actual back box itself, Okay, the actual back box is a 32-inch Samsung monitor I have in the back box. And also, it's covered by a fourth-inch piece of thick glass that actually covers the entire back box. And you're going to notice, too, when I go to the side, you're going to see how, how it's almost like it's made out of clear frames. And that's another thing that's unique is the fact I use these to actually build the back box and everything, too. There's, this machine alone has over 100, over 100 di different pieces of frames that are actually cut out of these shelf brackets. Uh, that actually, the, the cutting alone on those took almost two weeks to cut all the pieces that were actually involved in building that. But you're going to see it has a really, really neat effect. Now, one of the things that makes, my, makes the skeletal pinball machine and the black stallion pinball machine unique is you're going to notice that the back box actually floats above the play field so here's the back box and you're going to notice the play fit actually goes underneath the back box and actually in the play fit actually it actually goes underneath there and it actually floats so it's like the back glass is actually floating over the play fit. that's why that's one of the things that's very unique about my machines both this and the skeletal pinball machine as well now, the actual monitor that's actually running the game uh this is another samsung 32 inch monitor that's actually running the game uh and I actually run the pinball machine. I'm actually using uh, Visual Pinball 9.2.1. Now, keep in mind, this is running on Windows Vista. So this is a little older operating system, but this is the same one that I use for the skeletal pinball machine in the basement. And it's been working fine, so I wanted to go ahead and do the same thing I did down there because I haven't had any problems with it, and it's been working really, really well. Now, one of the really unique things about this machine, too, is I wanted to have a fully playable arcade machine as well. So built into the front of this, there's actually a custom-built control panel as well in the, into the front of this. Now, on this control panel here, you're going to notice there's a Simitsu LS32 joystick right here. Then there's also, I also have a start button everything down here. There's a Suzu Hap trackball. So this is a fully functioning arcade game as well. I actually can play arcade games and everything on this as well. So it's fully functioning as well. And it also has a little mini keyboard as well. 
Now, if you want to see some actual gameplay uh, on this machine, you can. If you go to my channel, you can actually check out some actual gameplay. Now, those were actually shot on a skeletal pinball machine, but this machine basically mimics exactly what I have downstairs in my basement. Okay, very very cool stuff. I can actually start up, uh, put a ball in here, and show you what show what, what it actually sounds like. So really really cool. So this is how I put a credit on, and this is how I start right here. So you can see how neat that is. Now the actual gameplay and everything too. There's a, underneath there, there's, a, there's actually an encoder board underneath it that actually converts the computers, the keyboard strokes and the computer signals actually underneath here as well. So very, very cool. Converts the keyboard strokes into, into the keystrokes, you know, what that the buttons and things use. Very, very cool thing. Makes it very, very easy. And it's also very, very fast as well. Now we'll go ahead and we'll launch a ball. This is how I launch a ball on this. And you're going to see that the actual gameplay and everything on this is actually very, very smooth and really, really dynamic on the sound as well. Now, like I said, if you want to see some actual gameplay on these, I actually have gameplay videos on my channel as well. Just look under my channel for Visual Pinball Gameplay. You can actually check those out as well. So you can see it. So you can see it's pretty, pretty unique machine. Really, really cool stuff. So there you go, guys. So there's my latest pinball machine, the, the uh, Blackstein uh, pinball machine. Very, very cool stuff. And as always, I want to thank you once again, by the way, for watching. Now, I also want to mention, by the way, too, if you want to help to sh show your support for the Kurtz Place channel, I do have merchandise available as well. There's video merchandise available from the Kurtz Place channel store. There's a link to the Kurtz Place channel store in the video description down below. All right. And as always, guys, I want to thank you once again for watching. Now, like I said, if you want to know more, if you want to know more about visual pinball and things i do have videos on my channel about visual pinball and you also can go to a site called the vp forums that was also very helpful they'll actually explain you how to actually set up all the hardware and everything that's, that's actually running this machine now i had somebody ask me about the menu system i'm using i will show you that real quick before i exit out so i actually have this little mini keyboard and to exit out i actually just hit the escape button here now i also have it programmed into the flipper buttons as well but what i what i do is i actually hit the escape button and that actually brings me back to the main front end now this particular machine is using i'm actually using a uh, i'm actually using a thing called hyperspin for my front end and you're going to see with the hyperspin i can actually shift through the different games i can actually go through all the different games and then when i want to bring up another game i just go to the game that i want now keep in mind i don't have a lot of games in here yet that's one of the reasons why there's there's a lot of blank games because i don't have that many installed in here yet because i just put it in place but you're going to notice that when i bring it up it brings up a backlash image and it brings up a play field image and then when i want to play the game i just hit the enter button or i can also i can also use a one player button as well and i just hit the enter button and what it'll do is it actually will bring it up now, it takes a few seconds for it to load up, but what it'll do is it'll load everything in the visual pinball. And it always starts, usually starts out with the back glass and then the play fin, and then there you go. Now you actually have a whole completely different machine. So you can see very, very unique. Now, one of the main things I tell people about when they, when they build a visual pinball machine, the main thing is it just takes a little time to learn. Uh, building, I've been build, building visual pinball machines for quite a few years now. So this is actually my, this will be technically my fourth one that I've actually made. You get better and better at each one. The main thing I can tell you is watch videos on YouTube. A lot of videos on YouTube on visual pinball. Also, if you get a chance, go to the VP forum site. Uh, you can actually learn about visual pinball as well. And also there's things about visual pin name and everything too that's, that actually runs this. So very, very cool stuff. All right, guys, now, as always, I want to thank you again once again for tuning into the Kurtz Place channel here on the YouTube, and we will catch you in the next video. And keep in mind now that premiere videos like this one, I usually have my premiere videos go, uh, going on anywhere from 12 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, every Friday that I have a chance to. So if you get a chance to watch them, go ahead and feel free to, and also you can talk to me as well on the chat room. All right, guys, as always, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day now. Bye-bye now. We'll see you next time. Have a great day now. Take care. See you next time.